Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the wheat field. This is what I call kind of like a uh, throwback style, blind, just intuitive message reading. Again, this is La T from Tears and Wheat Tarot Show, where you show enough, never know what you're going to get. So right now, I am feeling a spirit and meditating on this book, As a Man Thinketh, right? And I was called to this chapter here to see if I can get this where the light isn't all jacked up for y'all. See if y'all can get this. This book, I think, was less than $15 on Amazon, so if you want to check it out, please do, by James Allen. It's not a big read, but it's incredibly impactful. So, if you guys can see just a little bit, a little bit of that language. And I want to read from this page here on 64, and it says, the thought factor in achievement. All that a man achieves and all that he fails to achieve is the direct result of his own thoughts. In the justly ordered universe in which we live, the infinite intelligence of the all factors in uncertainty, and in that intelligence and, and inclusion of uncertainty, uncertainty, People can kind of get, you know, discouraged and get lost. We have a tendency to want to hold on to control. And the ability to let go of control and allow the universe to use every tool available to grow you for the sake of your ascension is what will happen. The universe will do that. So our ability to care for our mental mindset, our thoughts, to see them, to see them and not judge, but for the sake of learning is, is highly critical. It gives us the ability to transmute our tears. Tears and we to roast show, right? Show enough, never know where you go, what you're going to get. Because this is a testimony meeting to row. And uh, we bring the messages from the spirit as we are moved to bring them for the benefit of the wheat. You know, so that we can take the tears, which we never know is what is going to come after us. And we have to take that uncertainty again and use it for nourishment onto self so that we can be self-edified. And then we can take that edification and raise it up to the Father, our Creator, our eternal Lord of all of creation, as it's been revealed unto me. <coughs> so... Just wanted to uh, state that. Oh, I also have to put my disclaimer out there for anybody that is new to the channel and doesn't really know. Uh, your girl Lati is not profane, but she damn sure does cuss. And she's highly spiritual, but she's not religious at all. She studies all kinds of theology from around the plane to see how the creator has spoken to its field of creation itself and read the words as written by the father it's infinite intelligence and understanding that we are connected and bounded by the breath of life okay so if y'all can hang on in there if you could rock with your girl come on on in here and subscribe if you vibe please do and if at the end of this you feel like it is a message that you care about please do share it out okay and if you do really you know dig it and you want to sit for future spells go ahead and hit that bell okay because we'll be back we do this on a daily let's jump that one back in here so we are on page 64 as a man thinketh and we are saying that all that a man achieves and that he fails to achieve is the direct result of his own thoughts. 
and a justly ordered universe where laws of equipoise, epipo I can't say this. Y'all, does anybody know how to say this? Where is it? Right here. This word. How in the hell? So we got poise, equipoise, I believe it is. Would mean total destruction, individual responsibility must be absolute. Absolute. I mean, so individual responsibility. So each of us as unique expressions of the Most High God are able to respond. And we're able to respond to the uncertainty of the plane because we ride around in this very specific vessel that brings in all of the data, the information, using our emotions as a warning system that something's wrong. We are grieving, we are hurt, we are afraid, we are uh, unsure. Um, we, you know, deal with these warning systems, these warnings, these red flags that say that something's going on in the vessel in the energy field that needs to be dealt with, it needs to be transformed and transmuted, right? So as we experience these emotions, how we process them as thought will indicate often what we serve out, right? And to bring that information and feel it in the vessel having it here in the heart space and then sending it, I believe, up to the Father as we meditate and come and center ourselves, we can receive the advice from the Father naturally. Your spirit self, your highest self will speak to you. Then you can bring your spirit, your heart space, these emotions into alignment with what has been spoken to you and then you obey and surrender to that. And that brings your thoughts into process because now you can change from, you know, this is uncertainty and I don't know, and the fear statements, whatever they may be that you're stating, into faith statements. You know, my spirit gut says this, and you get to choose whether you're going to believe the circumstances of what you see versus what you feel in your gut. And if you can lean into what you feel in your gut was coming from your spirit space, the kingdom space, and just believe on that in the same and equal measure as you feel the fear just coming to part with it. So if you think about everything, the adversity, bring in a thought of positivity in equal measure and you can bring that here and as you serve this up that which you seek will be delivered onto you and then you can receive that in your heart space and just hold on hold on hold on hold on and believe 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 and then you'll be so full that you'll eventually serve it out. It will come to pass, all based on what you believe. And our ability to respond in that way is with us, always, always. Shall we read anything further? No. Okay, guys, um, this is just a quick little message um, from a unity standpoint. My wheat, I hope y'all was able to vibe uh, with the reading and that you don't mind the view. And, uh, yeah, so until the next now on the Tears and Wheat to Row show with your girl, Lati, because y'all show enough, never know what you're going to get. This right here, beloved, it's like a hole box of chocolates. Yes, it is. Just know this. I love you. I love you. I love you. And until the next now, wait, 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 wait. Why do I love them? Why do we love them? Why do we love them, Father? We love you because we love you just like we love us. Because we love the source that made each and every one of us, every expression, every expression. And so uh, each of us is going to get back there as we will is our own journey and just remember that it is about the journey and the learning 
and you know, in the sake of unity, each one teach one. And so, until the next now on Tales and Weeps a Rose Show, with your girl Lati, we'll call this an Ashe.